We welcome you to this Good Friday service tonight, a service of reflection and prayer as we hear the words of Jesus, the seven last words from the cross. Let us begin with prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you who led forth into the pain of the cross for the salvation of the world, help us to enter into your passion and death. Forgive us all our sin and bring us to eternal salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide the clothing. Most beloved Jesus, through your suffering, you paid for our sins. Give us a deep hatred of sin. Grant us a tender spirit towards sinners and help us to forgive those who have sinned against us. Teach us to confess our own sin and to seek reconciliation with those whom we have sinned against through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What language shall 
one of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Most blessed Lord Jesus, you forgave the thief on the cross. Look on us with mercy and compassion. Give us strong faith in you, a humble remembrance of our sins, and the strength to confess you before others. And so wash us in your blood that we may share in your glory forever. Through Jesus Christ, your only beloved Son and our Lord. And that is that the soldiers died. And that is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and saw the disciples, the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. And he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. O most holy Jesus, you left us an example of holy love by leaving your mother in the care of the disciple. Purify our own feelings and pour out your blessings on our homes and relationships. Comfort the homeless and cause us to act tenderly toward them and bring us to your home above where we with your mother and all the saints may worship and adore you with your Father and the Holy Spirit forever.
When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? O oh, blessed Lord Jesus, you bitterly suffered alone on the cross and experienced the anguish of separation. Come and be with us in times of despair and loneliness and transform our sadness into fellowship with you. We pray also for our sisters and brothers throughout the world who experience alienation, oppression, and aloneness. Comfort and support them with your presence, and bring them to a place of rest in you through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scriptures, I am thirsty. O oh, most blessed Jesus, you who thirsted and experienced pain for us, <clears throat> kindle in our hearts a thirst for you that we may love and serve you and lead others to find their rest in you. Remember, O oh Lord, all the sick and dying and deliver them from pain, granting them a happy ending through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever.
a jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. O oh, most blessed Savior, you proclaimed the perfect fulfillment of your work and bowed your wounded head in completion. Work in us the grace of your salvation that we might live in union with you. And whatever good work you have begun in us, continue it through our days that we might be full of your calling and be patient in doing well to others through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever. It was now about noon. The darkness came over the whole land and until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. O oh, most blessed Savior, you gave up your precious life to atone for sin and conquer the powers of evil. Grant us the power to live in your name. Do not forsake us in our hour of need. Confirm our faith, deepen our repentance, and strengthen us with your body and blood. And may we come to that heavenly rest where you dwell forever with your Father and the fellowship of the Spirit.
merciful, blessed Jesus, Son of the living God, see us poor sinners through your passion and death. Forgive us our sins, which we have committed against you and our neighbor. Give us eternal life and everlasting joy. Through the blood of your cross, we give ourselves to you in faith and submission. Keep us always as your own and grant us eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.